it's Ann from the Useless Crafter. So this is a super last minute rush because someone had asked me um, how to do like that silhouette hollowed out shaker of either a letter or a number. So, you know, if, if it's your 40th birthday, the four and the zero together. So I just did a C real quick. I wanted to pop this out because uh, the birthday is in seven days and I was like, um, I don't know how else to do this. <laughs> so we're going to do this letter C shaker. I'm going to show you some tips. Um, and then afterwards, I will record the design space tutorial so that you can follow along and do it. Um, just know though that if you want to do this, you have to learn how to do Inkscape. Um, but just the one little thing, just how to offset and I'm going to show you that. So don't worry about it. All right. So first thing is you want to heat up your glue gun. This is my Lynn Lily glue gun, which I love. It's by Shore Bonder. So she is always sold out. I'm trying to get it into the thing. She's always sold out. The color is so cute. It has a little glue catcher, like the drippings. It's cordless. Um, so if you don't mind not getting this color, if it's already sold out, I also have a black one just for backup because this is already my second one. My daughter stepped on it. Um, the first time around. <laughs> All right, so you need that. You need um, glue tape, glue runner, tape runner. I'm not even sure. Um, this is permanent adhesive. It's Tombow. It's my favorite one. All right, so this is what we have, okay? This is the foam layer. It's super thin. You have two layers of your acetate paper, but in this case, I use the Avery um, Strong, it's like, sheet protector so it's on my amazon shop it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter under cake topper materials um this is awesome because it's super cheap so i'd rather buy this than acetate paper and this works perfectly fine it also works for your uh for your buttons so if you have the we are memory keepers button maker which i do instead of the mylar paper you can use this all right so you have two sheets of that and then you have your top layer and then your offset back layer, okay? So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna flip this C around and we're gonna run our tape all along this foam. It's really thin. I would recommend, I'm gonna grab um, a sheet of paper to put underneath and here we go. All right, so you're gonna take your glue tape and you're just gonna make sure that you get all of it, okay? So I'm gonna run this. Cause this is what's gonna keep our sequins and our little fun stuff in. So we definitely need to make sure that it's all taped in there. And it's sticky. But once we get this down, it'll be easy. All right, so we got that part down. Let's go on this side. Oh, are you going on or what? Okay, here we go. So I think I got all of that almost. I know, I need to make this thicker. But I just wanted to see if I could get this done um, and to see if, in my mind if that's how it's supposed to work. All right, I'm going to get just a little bit right there. Okay, so now that we have it, we're going to flip it over and put it on here. So, I know it's kind of, it's so thin, so I totally get it, but it needs to run all on the inside. So <laughs> this is not looking good right now. Okay, here we go. So start with the tip. Okay, and then let's just go along the outline. And then we'll press it down once we have it, you know, better. It's so sticky. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay. We'll just continue along the inside so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And this is, I made it really, um, the C really big because I wanted to be able to show on camera. Um, so it might not be as hard if you didn't make such a big C. All right, we're almost there. Okay, somehow I stretched it out. <laughs> feel like I must have missed a corner somewhere, but okay, so I stretched out my C. Okay. Press it down. Okay. And I'm going to put the acetate paper on this side because I feel like with the acetate paper, um, it was going to be difficult to line it up with this one. So that's why the acetate paper is gonna go behind here, okay? So let's do that now. Um, on this one, what we can do is it hits the, the outline like this. So we wanna just make sure that we get, we run the tape all along there, okay? And this one's gonna be easier. We can see it, it moves a little bit easier too. Normally I would do the foam that the foam would be in the middle and I would have the two acetate layers on the outside, but I think it would have been just way too difficult with that thin C. And then what I would do is because the acetate paper is on the outside, I would cut another layer of this blue so that that's the outside. Or the back side. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. Okay. All right, so it's totally down. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put in our sequins. Um, so I would just do this. Throw in your sequins. I have a little bit of the blue. All of these um, you can buy on Amazon. It's also on my Amazon shop. So um, they're slime maker additions. <laughs> It's super cute. All right, so let's drop in some glitter. And some white glitter as well. So I'm doing my daughter's school colors. Hence the C for Colts and also for Charlotte. <laughs> All right, let's see. I feel like we're missing a little bit of more color. I'm probably gonna drop more, more of the blue okay so now that you have enough in here now we're gonna go on top and do this last layer of the tape and then we're gonna put the acetate layer on top okay so this one should be easier to do because now it's on the blue cardstock so it'll be a little bit easier to handle but you got to make sure that we get the glue all around the foam and push your sequins and stuff into the middle so that your, your tape doesn't pick up. Oh man. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't pick up your sequins and stuff. We're almost there. 
turn the corner, push it kind of more towards the center. We made it. Okay, so now we're gonna put this top layer. And then just run your fingers through to make sure that the tape is touching all surfaces of the foam and the acetate paper. All right, so. I probably should have put some in here because it doesn't look like it's going to make it all the way through. All right. Now, this layer, we can either put the glue gun or we could do the tape. So in this case, I guess I could just turn this off. I'm going to turn off the glue gun because I'm going to use the tape. So let's go on the back side. Same thing. Let's get the tape all the way around. Now this layer, we want the tape on just so that it sticks, but it's not holding in anything, so it's not as critical to make sure that we get everything. So you can see I'm a little bit more careless. <laughs> all right, so we have everything. Let's pick it up. And this holds its shape a little bit better too, so you can kind of hold it. And if you put it down softly, you still have a little bit of wiggle room to move your And because we did everything in blue, it's okay if you don't see if you don't cover it perfectly because the foam is also blue. And there you have it. Now, if you have two letters, or really more in this case, you would have two numbers, like 40, then I would, this back layer, I would weld it, the four and the zero together, so it sticks as one piece, but this will still remain separate, and you would have technically two shakers on top of it, okay? But all right, I hope this was helpful, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this. This is really cute. I do like um, the silhouette. So all right. Hit me up with your comments and your questions and your personal requests because I feel like that's the only way that you learn. Um, I know it's really hard to learn the um, Cricut and the design space portion of it. So I'm here for help. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.